This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Uh, now, what I would uh, want to start is, uh, uh, first we go with uh, what uh, software. So basically, uh, if anything is created, we just, uh, either we will be using it. So very simple, like uh, some person have some requirement. Uh, so we call him a client for this uh, for his requirement to fulfill there will be other person uh, who do it to who fulfill that requirement so we can call him as a service provider or the a person uh, who is giving a simple like service a client and service just wanted to say uh, we can take anything uh, in this world like uh, any transaction will be like a client and uh, serv uh, service provider like uh, whatever you take any domain like uh, educational hospital uh, restaurant like uh, hospitality so uh, but the naming will be different so in hospitality the client will be as a customer uh, in hospital he will be the patient uh, in the school he will be a student so the service provider will, will be like teachers or uh, the same thing uh, doctor so everything happens here and there now in the software also uh, people come and uh, like i want to share first i'm sharing my screen so complete screen uh, what i wanted to show uh, show you is uh, if we wanted whatever we wanted to test at least we should have basic knowledge of what that uh, i uh, item or product or uh, uh, that what uh, what we, we need to work with so how we at least we have to know what basic we, we need so everything is client and service right in software also there are uh, two things like we are the client who are using actual software and who is providing the software as service providers for example now we are using laptop so that is the client so we are uh, sorry we are the client and th that is providing the service now we all are connecting through this meeting right the go to meeting so that is one software so they are uh, providing it and that is running on our laptop so in it's uh, in other terms so the, our laptop is also providing us the service simple uh, for naming wise for it to be easy you can see services running in the task manager <laughs> just a naming to understand and to remember so everything will be like client and server and coming to software there are two types one is uh, a person have a requirement he goes to a uh, company and he pro uh, they tell them like what uh, he requires so they build it and give it to him so those are like uh, services companies like uh, tcs infosys wipro and all the other thing is these these are uh, softwares uh, service uh, softwares and the other one is uh, one, pro one person identify the problem and he build the software and he sell it to the people so there, uh, those are like Oracle or uh, Microsoft, they create operating system, they create databases, they sell it to the people. The other way is, uh, those are product software and the other one is services. They take all the products and build one application. So those are services. Now, uh, in between the client and server, there will be one person who is like a quality checker. Uh, whether he will be there he will understand what client was asking what service providers are doing it so from there uh, the person is like qa analyst or qa analysis person so whether uh, the expected output is coming or not or uh, they are working appropriately what client uh, requires now uh, that is called in our uh, uh, software is like uh, software um, testing part so now in this uh, complete tutorial, like uh, what we are going to explain is what is from where the performance testing start, uh, how we are going to do it, what are the outcomes, and uh, uh, finally what will be the uh, result. So delivery, what we are going to deliver to the client. So just uh, with these things, I will try to explain like uh, what we are going to do. So the first one is requirement gathering. So we take as a service company uh, as of now. So one person comes and uh, ask, he will have a group of uh, movie theaters, for example, he has uh, 10 theaters. So 
he every day he can't go to all the 10 theater at different location and so he will come to a service company and ask like i need one application such that uh, i have to see complete dashboard like uh, how which movies are playing and how many tickets are being sold people should easily book the ticket something requirement the defining will happen and design will happen so these are like basics uh, if all are into it very basics like uh, so application architects and uh, ui ux designers so everything every person will come and create that application so they will define like whether it can be mobile app a web app or how a pos uh, point of sale uh, device or something next people will uh, programmers will develop it and the other team will test it what uh, exactly is it working or not as per client requirement so requirement will be shared to two people so then uh, they will test it if it is working fine then they will uh, deploy uh, the code into the client machine they can uh, deploy a client machine or client can use that uh, i think people okay sorry i think at the beginning uh, just we are explaining the software development life cycle here so where uh, from end to end like from requirement to till the output uh, the software uh, which was working how we get it so uh, <clears throat> now we are into the te uh, testing uh, phase so person uh, they have created it now we need to test it so when testing there are two types of testing the basic uh, differences uh, one is functional testing. So functional testing means uh, if I click on this uh, button, what would happen? Uh, so, okay, it is uh, decreasing it or increasing something as per functionality. But if I do it, how fast it is reacting? So that comes under non-functional testing. Uh, means here we can't, uh, we will be measuring it different ways. So if in functional, we will see like, okay, if I click it, I am getting the output the options okay but how fast uh, i am able to do it so that would uh, will be non functional and also uh, the other thing is now i have this document if i uh, if this this uh, google slide document is uh, my own so i have created it so this is the url if any if i share this url to anyone or if any other person tries to copy and uh, open it on their machine he should not be able to open this uh, <coughs> link so it would be it is like security so security testing so functionally wise if i open this uh, slide it should open for me but it should not open for other person so uh, it, it comes under uh, security or uh, security testing so there are uh, other uh, uh, non-functional testing also so majorly into two so uh, functional non-functional under non-functional we are discussing like the current performance testing so performance testing is like uh, it checks the uh, responsiveness of the application that we created uh, it can be like mobile uh, web desktop application so how fast uh, uh, the application is able to load so web application in the browser how, how fast it is able to load in mobile how fast we are getting the response the rendering time everything will be different depending on the application also so i'm opening uh, chrome if i open in uh, safari it might get some fast in more firefox uh, it would be somewhat uh, fast so data will be same but rendering time will be different now <coughs> how we are going to uh, do it now uh, for even testing is also a requirement and uh, we need basic uh, uh, so everything will be like so from where we are going to do it so before this uh, development right I want to show like how application were divided so there are monolithic and uh, entire uh, application the thing is uh, any application takes the input process it and shows the output so the, uh, simple like uh, a normal uh, so basic any application uh, will be working on so for example if i take a media player there are uh, there will be for a media player the input will be the mp4 file for example the video audio file and vlc will be the software and the output is your uh, console the application itself where we see the screen so all the three are on the same uh, uh, machine 
so and uh, all are closely coupled so uh, within the same mission uh, everything will be uh, running so coming to youtube if we take the presentation layer that what we see is on the browser uh, if we request anything uh, if i want to see one particular video the request go to one server it process it and go in uh, if it find it it go to that particular database and i will get the uh, video playing on my mission so like uh, architecture will be uh, different so i wanted to give like basic idea now uh, if you understand how the application is working then we will get how we can uh, test the application so that is like uh, in detail uh, we will go like how the performance testing on the browser we will be doing on application or on the database or complete end to end so here how the performance will be there is i requested for a particular video it has to go till the end and i have to get it so there are other uh, video sharing platforms uh, but youtube remains the uh, major in india uh, we will be using it because of the responsiveness so there will no, if any lag is there they try to fix it if all people are using at a time if any uh, video is getting released but the site doesn't go down if you take irctc in india every time uh, it goes down so th that handling uh, how they will be able to manage all those so people before that uh, actual time they will be doing performance testing they will identify how many uh, users it can handle and they will fix it and and on that particular time uh, they will release the application with proper configurations so then uh, application won't go down now uh, that is the requirement like for example like uh, uh, big billion day this many people will be coming so we will test what if those many people come into the application and uh, book anything uh, if it is if it can withstand uh, then we go, we say like application is able to handle the users then uh, it's like uh, the success like uh, okay application is working functional means if any person is able to uh, buy that product then uh, that is the fun uh, functional test is working performance wise if application doesn't go down and is working with many users in there it is a uh, pass case so it is working as properly so what we will be discussing is uh, now we have software development life cycle uh, what requirement we are getting to create a software so from there uh, how we can fix it and you know? similarly we have performance testing life cycle uh, means now the uh, load test right if i click uh, if one user is using the application uh, it works fine if more than 10 users or 100 users uh, the response will be less because the back end operation will be happening if it is 1000 users uh, again it will break now we have to define like <clears throat> how many users need to be uh, tested now uh, i am using uh, google slides there are thousand members if using google slides and if it goes down then there is a performance uh, issue on this uh, google slide application so we want we wanted to know that requirement okay uh, google want to know how many people can uh, access uh, this google slide so accordingly uh, we want we will be defining our test so they they will get a high level insight uh, at what time uh, this application is going down how many people are uh, accessing the application and what duration they are accessing uh, any app uh, uh, it will be different so major example we say big billion day that comes once in a year for example for flipkart but if you want to take a credit card billing or uh, the, uh, the electricity billing everyone will pay at the end of the month so every month it will be happening if you take book my show every week friday uh, there will be surge in uh, users so that requirement and we need to define like okay how many users are accessing it and at what duration are accessing it and all and and, and next one application ha can have thousand functionalities but performance testing uh, wise we will not test uh, all functionality only business critical uh, scenarios we will be testing uh, if search is not working in Flipkart, okay, user might be uh, coming after some time. If payment itself he has added to the cart and is not able to pay, then uh, the application itself is having a problem. 
so that uh, if payment is not happening the income is not generated for the application if search is not working okay uh, it doesn't generate uh, have much difference on their income but it will ha somehow it have an impact that if the product is not such you will go to other uh, uh, e-commerce site so that is also important but a uh, payment is uh, is of high priority so we will identify which is of high priority then we will create a script so difference between aut uh, functional and uh, non-functional explain right in functional only one person will be doing that activity here in performance the same activity has to be repeated thousand times so if it is 10 times what we can do is if the company is having uh, five employees so if one user is accessing the application he will be there will be a load of one user so if five users all people open the browser and uh, launch the application flipkart example there will be load of five but they wanted to test with uh, 10 users so what they can do is each person will open two browsers and then uh, launch the application in in such way there there is a load of 10 okay fine but what if the number is uh, 50 100 and so on so in performance testing uh, we will capture or we will be creating one script one program what a manu what manually a person does we will take that program and give it to a one particular tool so that uh, if we configure there i wanted to run this one person uh, what he does so that is a script we call it a virtual user script and we configure and run it i want thousand users accordingly uh, it will create the same copy of the script 100 times and run it and uh, so it depends on tools 100 times uh, the script might run or 100 copies it might run so such that there will be a load on the server with 100 users so just okay, okay. the next thing is uh, so we need to create those scripts we will be running those scripts and we will be designing it how we, uh, we are going to do uh, so those all comes under uh, these uh, things the complete uh, the uh, how many users we have to take how, what business, business scenario we have to find uh, and uh, yeah, create the scripts uh, we also see that uh, the test design if how all thousand users uh, we wanted to run we wanted to run all at once we have to uh, so every user will be running at uh, with an interval of time not all users comes at one time right? someone will come at different point of time so that all we have we need to do it uh, and the next one is uh, in performance testing also we have types of testings the first one is uh, baseline so no one knows how much time uh, we are uh, getting uh, for example if i uh, click on flipkart.com it's like um, uh, i'm getting the whole page but it will take five seconds so that is the performance of that uh, application but for me it is five seconds if there are 100 users it will take uh, for me eight seconds so in that way in the at that time the response time uh, is eight seconds so we need to baseline like what if the 100 users are there uh, it takes eight seconds what if thousand users it might take 15 seconds so that baseline we need to do so uh, based on the load we will get some numbers the after baseline that is a load test so load test means there uh, here we have client uh, giving us the requirement right we here also will take the requirement from them they say uh, every month uh, this many users will be coming they say 5000 users with 5000 user load we will test it the next one is uh, 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 endurance test so how long they wanted to uh, uh, test it so one user login he log out then memory will be uh, clear if there are if the user is running for long time if memory is not released so internal technically uh, we will see what happens if all users are running for long duration so this uh, scenario comes in uh, uh, ott platform if movie is released so all other application will be used only for 10-15 uh, minutes they come they purchase and they leave log out the application but uh, in amazon netflix or youtube 
if anything is coming uh, that needs to be run for two hour three hour duration so all people will be on the server for that long time so data will be shared uh, across all memory uh, how uh, it is working so such type of test we need to do so that those are endurance test the other one is stress test uh, we know that uh, this application can handle thousand users but uh, after changing the configuration to more ram and more cpu we wanted to know how long it can uh, handle the users so we know it thousand then we increase 10 percent so 1100 then another 100 1200 1300 at 1300 we'll get to know the application went down so we'll give like a warning message so for thousand users it is working fine but if it is uh, 1400 users if it is reaching 13 to 1400 users application won't work fine so those types of uh, testing so these are types of performance testing so those all we will be uh, discussing and the major one is like creation of the script that is where some coding uh, is involved uh, not much uh, everything will be created but we need to modify it uh, after that uh, so this is all like testing part we sir, get the requirement yeah sorry uh, sir one question i have for the yeah. scripts uh, what we will be using virtual user generator or something uh, huh. so this one depends on the tool so here in the load runner right so completely it is load runner uh, in load runner we will use uh, virtual user generator okay and which load runner we will be using sir micro focus or hp My, micro uh, 12 version micro focus uh, load 12. runner right load runner uh, 12 okay uh, and uh, for scripting we will be using uh, uh, virtual user, user generator yeah, and those uh, uh, scripts will be written in uh, C functions. Yes. Okay, sir. So the part will be coming. Uh, now, here for any tool, uh, Pawan was saying, right? Once uh, we need to create the script. So for any part, that is like one quick script creation. The next one is we will be uh, configuring the scenarios. So those will be the controller. So the controller in the word, the meaning itself, it will control like how the script has to run the scenario. So they have to how many users of the first one. So each user has to start that within one minute or two minutes and all. And the last one is analyzer. Now we are testing it, right? We get the response. So uh for the page to load i i told like uh, five seconds for the next page it will take six seconds so each page how much time is taking we need to analyze those so analyzer first one is script generator the second one is uh, controller and the third one is analyzer so for any tool these three will be the same uh geometry is an open source tool right even there also we will have a script creator the same in the script we can give the configuration so there are like components they call it as components here we call as individuals uh, completely micro uh, focus load runner but there are like three application within it so uh, those three parts we will we'll be discussing in detail uh, now functionality side uh, if we give uh, okay for one functionality username and password i want to log into an application i will provide uh, username password and click on login okay that is functionality if it is proper credentials i will log in uh, if not uh, i will uh, report it to the developer uh, they will fix it coming to performance testing here also we are uh, we are finding out some issues so i am able to log in but it is taking uh, one minute so this is a performance issue it should not take more than five seconds or 10 seconds as per uh, client requirement we call it service level agreement between client and uh, us who are testing so what happens so this is a bug so we will tell them they need to fix it so uh, in detail uh, when a developer uh, okay when a functional tester is testing anything he will provide like what environment he is using what which url which username which password he is giving but uh, even, uh, even we also have to give basic details like with how many users i am testing what uh, if the test is for one hour 
you will be able to see that as uh, errors at uh, 45 minutes 45th minute so you are facing some error so you need to monitor the applications also application log so those will be like uh, dynatrace so these are like application uh, uh, program uh, performance monitoring apms we have uh, dynatrace uh, app dynamics uh, CA, CA Wiley. So basic, majorly app dynamics and uh, Dynatrace will be using. So these are like this uh, software will be installed on the application server. So we will get uh, logs of the application how it is uh, functioning. So when we test it, we will see application is not responding properly. So at that duration, we will log into the monitoring application and see what was what might be causing the issue and we will uh, report to the developers so the first one is all like performance testing the from here what we do like uh, the monitoring and all this is like performance engineering so we, we will be providing all these details so what might be so the database uh, in this architecture or basic architecture i'm showing like from application to database there might be in middle uh, few more uh, applications microservice or uh, uh, bus uh, notifications uh, servers running message queues whatever so we will get an in-depth analysis like where uh, the time is getting spent so we will uh, tell to them uh, report to them so th accordingly they will uh, fix it so either they increase their uh, queue size um, uh, ram memory or uh, configuration on the particular one and they will fix it so in that way we are ident uh, trying to identify any performance issues were there and monitor the application and provide the uh, insight so that is from uh, complete uh, requirement from uh, starting uh, uh, performance requirement to our uh, out outcome so that will be the deliverables so only performance testing is still here so we will our deliverables will be our analysis report so which page is taking more time uh, which uh, functionality uh, which page rendering time uh, is taking more so those details after that we will analyze and give our insight if we have a coding knowledge and application knowledge uh, 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 db performance tuning or anything we can also go till there uh, but from our side uh, uh, at least we need to have a server architecture and all. so in that time, and sir uh... Are we seeing the, the API performance testing also? Huh. So I, I will like, yeah, API will also be there. So API, not like it, it's nothing like external. I, I will explain to you like uh, how API will be there. Okay, sir. So okay, can I we see sure. them like uh, with multiple test data with multiple scenarios? How to test single yeah. API? Yeah, we have uh, one application. Uh, that is like payment application uh, just user creation and doing it so uh, we will have demo on that one so just uh, i wanted to show you like uh, this api so network okay not on this tab at least uh, f12 now okay uh, i took clearly uh, basic the last point i want to show so i am a client so i am a user or client customer something now i wanted to open uh, flipkart.com so nothing is there if i wanted to load this one back and these many calls were going uh, hitting the server So did it load completely? Yeah, it loaded. Now this is the actual request. This is the IP address of the Flipkart server. Now when I requested this one, I am asking to get this, uh, get the values. Uh, so uh, I got all this uh, uh, data. So it didn't load. The plain script uh, on this one. This is just rendering for, for your understanding. So whatever all missing, right? Those are, these are the images. On this page, these are the images, but at the end I'm seeing everything completely here. 
so for me this uh, to load this page these many requests were going to notify request so there is a one user load for now on flipkart so if uh, in this meeting all five people uh, ten people were there suppose if ten people are accessing the server then uh, it is like uh, ten user load so what we are doing is this is one uh, api uh, ex explicitly i will explain like uh, creating one api script so this is one uh, api call so i am getting this output now how it will be how we are doing is virtual user generator right in load runner we can copy all this one we can save all this as hr content html rk content and directly open it so the script will be created the script but sir, uh, uh, how we can pass the test data sir like in json format uh, with multiple scenarios so that one uh, in the further class uh, we will explain just i wanted to show you one user loading okay, one page so okay. this with 215 request uh, one script will be created the, through virtual uh, virtual user generator so i copy the script and place yeah, it in yeah, the one question okay so we should keep all these pngs and css js uh, apis as well or we should only keep uh, xhr apis uh so that one uh, ATR script yeah 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 it will be in uh, de uh, detail like if you go into class uh, hands on into the application these are like asynchronous code if you see i have only called flipkart.com why all these pngs have come so the, the reason is uh, uh, this is the home page in this page they are calling number of other calls this mobile site or uh, uh, images pngs controller png so uh, there is an icon right uh, f icon yeah so it's need to include like all these pngs in our huh. script or not in the script we will include only flipkart.com but okay. the flipkart income uh, will in turn call uh, other other links so that one script will be checking how it will be working these are asynchronous calls so it will be calling we will not call all these these are like uh, extras so if you have basic id uh, they will be like extra but okay, so we need, yeah, you got it right uh, we, only flipkart yes, will add the script we will add only one request but the tool itself will be trying to extract all this it can take all of this as one extra extra so, uh there is an option extracts so all these are like extra files while opening flipkart so in that way we can consider so this all are into scripting just i want to show like okay this one script uh having this many request the controller will take that request and will configure like 10 or 100 users it will run it and give the response time average max minimum max uh, average max and 90 percentile based on our configuration 90 95% and graphs at what point uh, we are facing error error code uh, harish uh, sorry to interrupt could you could you yeah. tell me why you are calling these are the asynchronous request so that png jpg whatever it may be how you are going to come ensure that these are the asynchronous request yeah the thing is uh, uh, okay i call these values right the second time we don't know which request comes uh, first we might we might not get all this in sequence if you see uh, previously whole page is loaded uh, this icon loaded at last sometimes we get this image get loaded first uh, and other get loaded at the uh, different times but these are the embedded resource right why you are calling as a uh, asynchronous because so, asynchronous, asynchronous is something different right so okay so asynchronous means like means you are just stating yeah 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 true yes sir hello please go ahead 
Uh, no, uh, asynchronous call and synchronous call difference, right? You're asking. So how you're getting? Yeah, yeah, problem? yeah. Right, right. So synchronous calls is uh, one after the other till it waits. If you see here in the timeline, all are getting started at one point. So in this timeline, we will be seeing it. So all get started at one point, and uh, uh, they might which output get loaded? That one will be seen. In synchronous, only one after the other we will be seeing. See, that's true. But uh, some of the some of the embedded resource, what exactly you are trying to say that PNG or JPG, whatever the um, picture files are there that are comes on the store uh, on a browser, right? If, if it is static, then it is going to store in the browser. If it is okay. dynamic, then it is coming from the server itself every time. Oh, so that we have here uh, disable caching. So. In performance testing, we will have an option. So wherever we wanted to have fresh load, so we will uh, disable the cache. Means uh, there is option like a new user. So whenever we wanted to give a new user, so every time they get loaded. So according to it will load. So which uh, images uh, uh, from which server they're loading? So accordingly they will load. If we disable cache, it will yeah, I got it. And previously, you have told that uh, some baseline test, uh, and that time I missed something. Suppose you are getting a requirement, and uh, uh, suppose you are going to get the 100 to the load test. Now in that case, what will your baseline contribution on that? Sorry, once again. Uh, suppose you. Your... Miss, I have done baseline first. Hello. Can you hear Hello? me? Now, now yeah. I'm able to. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, get some idea about this. Suppose you are going to get a load test, but before that, you don't have any data to make it to be. For like yeah. your SLA or something, is it, it may be at that time you are going to proceed for the baseline test. Baseline test, then how you are going to proceed or that time I'm just. I want to curious to know about that. Okay. Uh, the first thing is uh, uh, so anything like threads. Uh, though the software runs it, it completely again depend on the hardware. So uh, now I can uh, uh, if I, we will have uh, some memory configuration right. If anything for you have uh, task manager. So here we will have configure uh, our performance. So how much uh, this 8 GB memory can handle? For example, what I will do is uh, uh, I will be try trying to run with uh, 150 users or 10 users based on the application flow and size. So I will see. So completely, I don't have any idea. I will run with 10 users and I will see my uh, stats. So how CPU and memory are working fine. Then uh, I will be checking and uh, I will see like. How much uh, user city and it can handle and the baseline I will be running with those many users that is the first one the second one is uh, so I'm telling how many users it can handle but the second one is even though after handling those many users I have to get proper response so I explained you like uh, functional testing will have or oh, if I give proper credentials I will get the dashboard I will see my profile page and everything Coming to here, uh, the uh, value is uh, 200. Either uh, I will be providing wrong credentials, but it has to immediately tell me uh, your credentials were wrong. So I will get messages something uh, wrong credential, but I will get status code as 200. So how fast I'm getting? If my credentials are correct, I will wait for at least one minute uh, if it is important. Even though it is fail, uh, why I need to wait for one minute, for example. So these two things I need to get it in the baseline. How many users it can handle and uh, whether it is meeting our uh, SLA. So the time. So the time uh, here we will be saying, like, okay. At what time? I mean, so this is not like uh, complete. Uh, they will be uh, in detail if you wanted to find but in our response times, you will get complete the last uh, one. 
okay this page to load the com to get the response what we are seeing is different these are uh, for rendering time it is different this is only the the first byte we send it as a request and the response we get so here is the request and here is the response so when we started it and when we got this response so these are the two things in the base let me see So it's like, like uh, uh, any other questions like uh, this is just like uh, means uh, what our complete uh, uh, load runner uh, with real time project like what we are going to explain. So basic uh, documentation also we will be we need to do. So we explain like deliverables right what we are going to provide uh, outcome or insight. Uh, before testing the requirement how the requirement document uh, uh, will be planned there and how we are planning it how do you planning the test so before uh, testing not every application can be uh, done performance testing so we need to check feasibility whether we can test it or not then uh, next we will be using uh, tools then accordingly we will be doing it not everything a uh, load runner can't can test uh, everything so there are a point of sale missions so we can't run a point of sale missions on those. So that's the reason we, we need to understand the architecture and on the architecture where we can able to keep the load, we will be doing, this, doing it. So any other questions like um, in this complete uh, flow? So, uh, yeah, Harish, hmm. just a moment. Uh, suppose hmm. you are using right now your HTTP protocol, right? I'm using uh, web pro HTTP protocol. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In HTTP protocol, how that uh, that you are sending the request to to the server? Miss, how I'm sending it? Yeah. In which in, in tool you're asking? Not, not doubt you are recording the um, request and you are sending that request. But how okay. that HTTP protocol works uh, behind that, I want to know about that. Means what steps it is going or how? It, 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 it is not sending the request through browser, right? Okay, in the tool you are asking then, how it is getting generated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suppose you are getting, you are get, recording the scripts through by browser and server. What the communication okay. is going to happen through load owner, We are getting, we are recording the request, uh, request and response. But yes. whenever the uh, when you are going to send the request through your tools, that mm -hmm. time browser is not coming to the picture. Then how you are sending that request? No so, doubt through load runner you are sending, then how that communication is going to happen? The browser, okay, browser doesn't open, but right. internally load runner will be taking up the uh, request and running it. So it will create, create one client. The program uh, itself, uh, the tool itself will uh, create an instance of the browser. It We don't see like complete uh, browser, but it will be like uh, those tools only. There is an option to enable the browser. So when we have the settings and try to enable it, we will see those many browser instances here. So I have uh, opened uh, one. So in the load runner, internally, it will open those many browsers. If we wanted to see, we can enable that real browser. So those many instances will be created here. If 100, 100 will be created. So backend, everything will be same. The thing is, uh, I'm explaining, I explain the client, right? The same protocol, everything will be, the program wise will be same. The uh, the layer above it, what we are seeing is this application. So they will, the protocol, everything will be same. Google company has created Chrome. The same 
layer they have to take and they added some other advanced features into that what they have apple will create safari and the other people create mozilla the same way the basic one they will take it and internally it's a tool capability so it will able to run it yeah yeah good and in suppose uh, you uh, you were using a load generator that particular timing by using your pushing the loads okay? okay and in that particular system if browser is not installed our, our script will uh, send that request or is it mandatory to install uh, the browser they have if browser is there then only it will work so, so okay in real time some of the application will be working only on chrome so there is a chromium uh, browser on in the tool so this all uh, uh, protocols right so major will go with web and api uh, if possible uh, on that application uh, i will be trying to show you those uh, tool so we need to install so while recording uh, we see like uh, those tools there will be an option so how you want it to record it is in ie or chrome we can add uh, other uh, browsers and configure with the load runner then when we record we will have that option to record in that browser so while replaying also it will invoke those uh, browser instances so. okay Aris, thank you so if anyone others have any question so uh, so our like complete uh, i think i have explained like in this uh, session what we will be explaining means uh, first we go with the application basics of application or what it is doing or how it is working like i have shown you like uh, this request right uh, and then uh, how we create the script and then uh, after creating the script we have to have a plan so why how, how many users need to run the script so only how many scripts we need to create so that all comes under planning so the same thing i have shown you right uh, this cycle so instead of development cycle it will be like a testing cycle so first we will plan like what scenarios are required uh, at what duration we can work within one month we can complete the work or how how with how many people we can complete it so create the script so build run our scripts and then analyze our results so after analyzing in detail analysis we will do it on uh, okay we will do it uh, in detail analysis on the application the first analysis we are doing it from the data we have we are running the test we will have the data we will analyze it the second analysis is we go log into the application system and see how the application is working uh, during the test so everything will be like uh, these details so i think they might have shared this one so if no uh, so i think you are all are then in the whatsapp group so any no questions related to performance testing or now what we have discussed or anything uh, i can answer there so any other thing uh, you can reach out to aita in that uh, group and or kumar sir okay now load test is like we take one scenario they give us a, a particular uh, user load okay uh, this application has to handle 100 users and we have a particular uh, scenario i mean say it will run for uh, uh, five, uh, two minutes three minutes the complete uh, a purchase an item and I, I leave it so one user log in and he log out now there will be a memory footprint for example that much uh, memory is used by that one user if 100 users uh, 100 into 1 mb 100 mb is used okay fine for endurance test what is uh, if the, any user comes into application and he will be using the application for long time whether it can handle for uh, 5 hours or 10 hours uh, so if uh, after 10 hours if the application is down or not we will be able to check it so endurance itself in the name is how long it can 
withstand the application this is majorly to find the memory issues or anything uh, if it is uh, internally the uh, program is having any issue so the example i have given right uh, ott so those meant data will be transferred so application can be able to handle that network for that long duration or so something like that. Okay. So, so any other uh, queries or uh, tomorrow like uh, timings all uh, we'll update in the group so if nothing we can uh, drop off what is the pre-requisite for this course sorry, sorry. the ba what basic are... miss Pre-request is means uh, we will go with complete basics. Uh, Pre-request is like uh, learn basics of C, C programming language. Okay. Basics will we go enough. through load runner uh, script creation also in this course or just a live project? Like, so the creation also will be there in the try project. Okay. So the basics you need to learn is uh, uh, till functions, C functions. So till there, uh, it is uh, enough. So variables, uh, if else conditions, and then functions. These three are uh, major. The other thing uh, you will get to understand from the tool itself. So how to uh, create a, a variable, assign it values, uh, if else conditions, controls, and the last one is uh, function, how functions uh, are working. With this, uh, these all enough to create a uh, script. First, uh, we, we need to uh, understand the script. In this performance testing, if in any other tool, the thing is, uh, you have seen the network tab, right? So majorly we go with uh, web application testing. Uh, everything gets, uh, this all request will be captured in a script. So everything, a script will be created automatically. But we need to understand uh, what that particular uh, function is. The statement that is the major one so others all uh, will, will be good okay so uh, i will explain in the uh, session itself uh, but uh, if you have basics it will be fast uh, yes sir uh, which application will be used for this web, course? web application so internally it is hosted uh, so that web application on that only we will be testing it. It is like a, a valid uh, application. So we log in, uh, add money or something like that, and then we log out. So how fast uh, we are able to? E-commerce type. Sorry. Is it e-commerce type application? Something like that. Yeah. Actually, I have shown you the application architecture, right? We will be testing different type of application, means uh, based on the requirement. Now, POS is there. Uh, it's like we need to replicate that. So the browser I explained, right? So those many browsers we need to open if it is a web application. For mobile, those many mobiles we can't open, right? So there are like emulators. So in one system only, we will open uh, emulators like four or five machines and then test it. So those are like uh, based on the application we'll be doing. In this session completely, we will discuss like web application and APIs. So APIs also go through the web, web right? so that's the reason. So, no other, uh, so, I hope like you understand like uh, what I was explaining today and in the further class, uh, what will be. 
I will try to explain like in complete uh, in basics like what our application does, how our application is created, what all are uh, available and all. So it will be easy. And if if you are given uh, any other application, you will be able to uh, try to understand and do it. So in that way, we will try to keep uh, our session. Yeah, in the group, I, uh, I will be sharing it. So at the end of the session, I will be sharing. So it will take around for four or five sessions. Uh, at the end, I will be sharing it. Okay. Uh, uh, one doubt here. Uh, is this a, just a project, live project course, or it's a complete uh, performance testing, creating a script, everything, which uh, using a load runner course? The second one, the live project means uh, we will be creating the script we will be running it and we will be analyzing it okay so uh, our live project means uh, uh, so that is our uh, work uh, so the pro project uh, creation everything is uh, developers or other people will be doing so they have created and hosted it we will be running our, our own work so that will be our live project Okay, uh, we are doing, uh, we are taking one application and we are doing end to end script creation and we are analyzing the result, all those things we are doing here. Yes, running the load test and then analyzing it. How, okay. uh, because they mentioned as the, uh, the pre request, he says you should be aware of the load runner. So just I asked. Uh, load runner means basics is uh, enough. Okay. Uh, basics of uh, uh, that one they will be changing it so not completely in load runner for pre request is here is uh, c language uh, for jmeter that is also performance testing tool there you need a little bit of uh, java till the functions even there also because uh, uh, i will explain like further like uh, how it will be uh, you will be Fine, right? So I will be stopping the recording.